Roy Ortiz may not be alive today if not for the rescue workers who pulled him from his upside-down car during the Denver area floods last year. I feel really good thanks to, to God and my family and uh, the rescue people that uh, saved my life. But Ortiz has a funny way of showing his gratitude. He's suing for $500,000 claiming negligence because the rescue workers did not arrive fast enough. Apparently, no good deed goes unlitigated. The floods that hit the Denver area were catastrophic, causing record damage, leaving many citizens homeless and costing at least eight Coloradans their lives. The floods also produced countless stories of bravery by rescue workers. Without their efforts, the death toll could have been much worse. Ortiz was one of those citizens rescued, but he claims he spent two hours in an upside-down car before rescuers knew he was there. So, he filed a lawsuit. It's unfortunate to have to try and, 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 and cast liability or responsibility for this you know, act of God on, on the men and women who risk their own lives. But that's not stopping the lawsuit. And what effect can this type of lawsuit have for municipalities and future search and rescue efforts? Cammie Brown is a defense attorney and industry advocate. As I reviewed the story and watched the video, my first thought was Ortiz should be sending a thank you card to these rescuers and not a summons. His life was literally saved by these rescuers and the notion of turning around and suing them because it wasn't fast enough, it wasn't good enough, hindsight being 2020, why weren't the signs up? Those are really impossible questions to answer. Truly, these rescuers were doing their best and he's trying to seek monetary gain from those who literally saved his life. There's a problem with that. Click on this video right now to learn more at facesoflawsuitabuse.org.